Oh God, what have I done to my husband? What have I done? I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have. It's all my fault. It's my fault. Lord, please heal my husband. Please, Lord. Good morning, Holy Spirit. What is it, Lord? My heart is heavy. Who is in trouble? Him. My brother, Joe. What is it, Lord? He is in danger and he is dying right now. Oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, I take authority over the spirit of death on Joe. He will not die but live to fulfill the purpose of God for his life. Thank you, Lord. I need to quickly call them. Let me call the wife. Hi Lucy, how are you guys doing? Why are you crying? My brother, you mean Joe. What is wrong with him? He is not feeling fine. Is he at home? Can I talk to him? You are at the hospital. Okay, I am coming over right now. Stop crying. Everything will be fine. I am coming. Hello doctor, you sent for me? Yes, please sit down, madam. Okay, thank you sir. You see, we have done all we needed to do on your husband, but nothing is working. We carried out different tests to determine the way forward, but the poison had eaten so deep into his body. So, I want to counsel that you take him back home so you won't continue to spend money on hospital bills in vain. I will still give you list of drugs that can help him. I hope you understand. Oh God. Oh God. What have I done? Yes, doctor, I understand. Thank you. You are welcome. Lucy, how are you doing? How is my brother? He is there. He is just staring into the space. The doctor just called me now to inform me that there is nothing more they can do for him. He is over there. How are you doing my brother? Him. Him. Wow. Jesus. Don't worry. You will be healed. It is well with you in Jesus name. Lucy, why didn't you call to inform me of my brother's illness? Sister Andrea, I am sorry. I thought it is something we can handle. So sorry. So what really happened? Sister, it is a long story. I will tell you everything when we get back to the house. They have discharged him, so I am taking him back to the house. Discharged, but he is not feeling well. The doctor said they can't do anything to help him. Wow, don't worry, what God cannot do does not exist. We will pray and God will hear. Now let's go. Okay, Ma. Thank you. How is he? I have laid him down on the bed to rest. What are you giving him to eat? He takes more liquids than solids because of the stomach issue. Okay, don't worry. He will be fine. Now, tell me the whole story. Okay. Sister Andrea, I think I caused everything. Lucy, what do you mean by that? It's a long story, Sister Andrea. Don't worry about time. I am here now and I want to hear it so we will know how to better help him. It all started when? Lucy, do you remember that woman we met at the supermarket the other day? Not really. The woman who couldn't pay for her groceries. I helped to pay her bills that day. Yes, yes, I do remember. What about her? I met her again, this time around, in her kiosk where she sells fruits. Okay. She narrated her ordeals to me. She said her husband ran away from home when the responsibilities were becoming too much for him to carry. He left three children for her to cater for. Since then, she has been doing one odd job after another. Only the first son is going to school. Oh, oh, that is not good at all. Yeah, so the two other kids are at home helping her to sell the fruits so they can eat and pay the school fees of the firstborn. Okay. I am thinking of helping them. You have started again, Father Christmas. Did they ask for your help? No, but the Bible said in Proverbs 19.17, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Proverbs 22, 9, The generous will themselves be blessed, for they share their food with the poor. It is good to help the poor, in so doing the Lord will bless us more. So, what do you intend to do? I want to sponsor the two kids at home to school. Two kids? Joe, is that not too much? We also have our own bills to pay. Well don't you take only one for now? No, don't worry Lucy. The Lord will meet us at our points of need. I hope you remember that our two sons will be going back to school next month. Yes, I know. Like I said, the Lord will provide. 
Okay, if you say so. Dear, what happened to your freezer? Freezer. Oh, it's overloaded. That reminds me. Please we will need to get a new one. Because it is always overloaded, the cooling system is not circulating around the things inside. Okay, so how much are we looking at? With a thousand dollars, we should be able to get a good one. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, I will see what I can do by the end of the month. Okay, thanks dear. You are welcome. Hi Sarah, how are you doing? I am not doing well, sir. Why? What happened? I am about to graduate from school, but I can't complete my project. Why is that? I don't have money to complete it. How much are we looking at? It is $300, sir. Okay, I can't make any promises, but I will see what I can do about it. Okay, sir, thanks. Like I said, I am not sure, but I will see what I can do about it. Still, I will say thank you, sir. Okay. Is that not Brother Jude's car I am seeing packed by the road? What is wrong with it? Let me find out. Good afternoon Brother Jude. Good afternoon Brother Joe. Why is your car packed here? The car is faulty. I just called my auto mechanic and he came. He gave me a heavy bill that I cannot pay. I don't know what to do right now. I need to use the car to take my children to school and my wife to her workplace. I am at a loss. Oh oh so sorry about that. So how much did the auto mechanic charge you? It's much. I just can't afford it. Tell me, so I can find a way to help you. It's $700, sir. Wow. That's quite a lot. Let me check my account balance and see if I can help. Okay, thank you, sir. The money I have is for my wife's freezer, but yours is more urgent. So, send me your account number. Then what will you do about her freezer? Don't worry about that. We will find a way to cope until we can afford it. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. May God bless you. Amen. We bless the Lord. Honey, how was work today? It was fine and yours. It was fine too. I met Brother Jude on my way back to the house. Oh, is that so? Yeah. How is he doing? He is doing fine, except that his car broke down on the road. He had no money to fix it. That's the only car they use in their house. So, when I heard that, I decided to help him out. Help him out? How? I gave him the money I promised to give you for your freezer. Actually, I gave Sarah $300 for her project and gave Jude $700 for his car. Am I hearing you correctly? You did what? Dear please calm down. Their situation seems more urgent than yours. At least, you have been managing the kitchen situation with a freezer before. Please manage it for the next one month. I will give you the money next month by God's grace. Dear, what kind of a man are you? You prefer to give your money to outsiders rather than your wife. Please don't think like that. I just love helping people around me. I don't have a problem with you helping people. What I have a problem with is you giving out money to the detriment of your family. We are always the last on your list. Why is that always so? Joe, why? Lucy, please calm down. It's not because I don't want to help or something like that. You see the people I help out there, their situation is worse than ours. They need the money urgently. We can always manage what we have. I believe the Lord will bless us more and more. So, my own situation is not urgent. Getting a new freezer is not urgent. Okay, there is no problem. Looking at it holistically, it's not that urgent. You have been managing without a new freezer. Don't worry, we will buy it, okay? I am hungry, please. Where is my food? Okay, this matter is not yet over until I get the freezer. I know, right. Calm down. Please serve my food. Okay. I welcome every one of you to this meeting in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we all know, our pastor has been transferred to a new church. So, that means we have a new pastor. He has been with us now for the past three weeks. Yes, you are right. 
Recently, I observed that he's been struggling with transportation. He has three small children to take to school and bring back home every day. He needs to be at the church office every day too. So because of this development, I want to make a suggestion. Yes, what is it? I want to suggest that we raise an offering for him in the church to get a car. It doesn't have to be a new car, a fairly used car will do. Offering, for what? To buy a car, oh no, count me out, please. I work to get the car I am riding right now. He should also work and get a new car. I understand you ma, but you know he is working for the Lord. His salary might not even be sufficient for feeding and other needs in the family. So, he may find it difficult to save money for a car. That's why I want to plead with us to assist him in buying the car. What do you think brother Augustine? I think I will go along with what Mrs. Jones said. We cannot buy a car for him. Church is not a charity organization. Since he is working for God, let's allow God to provide a car for him. We can even pray to God right now and agree that he sends him a car. Well said brother Augustine, so let's pray for him instead of donating our hard-earned money to him. Okay, if that's what you people want. Exactly, that is what we want. How was the executive meeting today? It did not go as planned. What? I wanted us to get a fairly used car for our new pastor. I saw the way he has been struggling with dropping off and picking up his children from school every day. He has errands to run on behalf of the church also. I raised a suggestion for us to raise an offering in the church to get him a new or fairly used car. But alas, my people disagreed. My heart is so heavy right now. Oh not to worry about that. I am sure the God he works for will provide a car for him. God is faithful, you know. You too. That was the response I got from two of the executive members. Then, it is a confirmation that it is the right response. No, I don't believe that. I don't. Okay. I am thinking of doing something. Something like what? No, no. Don't tell me it is what I am thinking about right now. What are you thinking about? Go ahead and tell me what you want to do. I want to give him my car. I said it. I said it. You said what? Father Christmas. Are you the only one on the executive committee? Why must you always do as if you are the world's best helper, born to save the world? This time around, it won't work. Please, Lucy. We need to make the pastor's life comfortable. He needs a car. We are not his employer. If the church which is the employer doesn't know that he will need a car while transferring him to the church here then it is none of your business. Lucy, please. At least we have two cars. If I give him my own car, we can use your car for our family runs until the Lord bless us with another car. What? What did you just say? I said we can be using your car for our family runs for now until God blesses us with a new car. You lie, Joe, you lie. If you give away your car, forget about using my car for anything. You will use a taxi or an Uber ride. Certainly not my car. Oh Lucy, why will you say that? Remember that I bought the car for you with my money. Even at that, it is my car. You won't dare touch my car, Joe. You won't dare. Okay. Dear, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Is there any problem? Can I join you in the car? I will drop at the junction. Sorry, there is no space for you in the car. Lucy, but there are four spaces in the car and the kids are not around. I can sit in the passenger seat in the front. Joe, please I don't have the energy to talk this morning. It is early in the day. Kindly go and pick a car or an Uber, as you said you would be doing. I am not responsible for your situation. Okay, thank you. You are most welcome. This thing is getting out of hand. Let him not come and give me out as a gift someday. Imagine, he gave his car out and wanted me to partake in his suffering. It will never happen. He should start learning how to keep his money and property safe. I have to help him learn the lesson very well. Ha 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 ha. Boss, what happened to your car? I gave it out to someone who really needed a car. Wow, why would you do that? Because he needed the car more than I do. So, 
you prefer to sacrifice your car for someone else to use while you walk with your legs. Like I said, he needed it more than I do. The smile on his face when I gave him the car keys was priceless. The joy in my heart at that moment too was great. So did your wife drop you off this morning? My wife does not understand what I'm doing. She refused to drop me. So I had to pick up a taxi. Your wife is a good woman. Why did you say that? I am sure she did not support the idea of you giving out your car. Yes. Is that why she is a good woman? Yes. Sometimes we men make decisions without thinking of the consequences. Now, you have given out your car. You will be using a taxi as one of the staff of this great company. I am not complaining about using a taxi for your information. Great, you can't complain. Do you know how much they sell a new car now? Even, a fairly used car is expensive. Where do you plan to get the money for a new car? You know my answer already. Yeah, I know right. God will provide. Exactly, that is my answer. I am glad you are learning from me. Me? Learn from you. Nah, I don't want to be like you. You don't understand my actions for now. I know you will understand how important it is for you to help people when you have what they need. I am not against helping people. What I don't like in your own case is that you take it too far. I mean to the extreme. Even to the detriment of your family. You need to watch it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ruth, what is it, and why are you crying? Madam, it is my mom. What happened to your mom? I received a phone call yesterday that my mom is sick. They took her to the hospital. The doctor said she has a kidney issue, and she would need urgent surgery. That's very serious. I don't know how or where to get the money. Oh, 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 oh God. Calm down, Ruth. There is nothing God cannot do. Moth, you don't understand. If she doesn't have the surgery tomorrow, the doctor said she can die. Yes, I understand. Much more, God understands more than me. So calm down. Please prepare dinner. My husband will soon be home. Okay. Ma. Please clean your eyes, I don't want my husband to see you like this. And please don't tell him about the issue. I will see what I can do about it. Is that okay? Yes Ma. How was your day, dear? My day was fine. How about yours? It went somehow. Lots of work to do at the office. The month is getting to an end and I have to prepare the payroll for the month. Oh, so sorry about that. Where is my food? I am famished. Let me get Ruth to bring it. Okay. Dear, did you have a fight with Ruth again? A fight? What do you mean by having a fight with Ruth? Did she tell you that I fought her? Dear, be calming down. I only asked a question. She looked sad. She is fine, nothing is wrong with her. Okay, but please call her for me. I said she is fine. And I said it's okay. I want to see her. Okay. What is wrong with you, Ruth? I am fine, sir. The look on your face tells me otherwise. Something is definitely wrong with you. Sir, I am fine. Okay. Uh, 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 oh my god. Ruth, I told you something was wrong with you but you denied it. Why did you do that? Madam said I shouldn't tell you about it, that she will see what she can do to help me. What is the problem? My mom is very sick. She is in the hospital right now, and she requires emergency surgery. My younger sister called me and told me about it. I did not have the kind of money the doctor asked us to pay. I told madam, and she promised to do something about it. It is very urgent. Wow, that is why you look so sad earlier. How much is the surgery? $3,000 sir, and the doctor said it has to be done today or tomorrow latest if we want her alive. Okay, clean your tears. I will see what I can do by tomorrow in the morning. Thank you sir. It is okay. Lucy, why are you so heartless? Heartless? What did I do? You told the housemaid not to tell me about her mother's illness. How do you intend to help her, if I may ask? I was going to tell you, but then other matters came up, so I forgot. You forgot? How can you forget something as important as that? I am so sorry dear. It's okay. 
I hope you are not thinking of giving her the large sum of money she is looking for. I will help her with the surgery bill. That's a lot of money dear. Yes, I know. It is a life we are talking about here. I will help her. Remember the children will soon be home for the holiday. They will need school fees and other things when they resume. Don't worry. The Lord will help us. Let's save a life first. Save a life when my children are out of school. Yes, the Lord will provide for us. Okay. Dear, the children are going back to school next week. They need to go with their school fees and other school things. What are you doing about the money? I am looking for it. They may need to stay back at home for a little time while I source for the money. Seriously, Joe. It's not as if you don't have the money. You do. But you delight in helping others while your own financial issues remain unsolved. You need to set your priorities right. In fact, I am getting tired of it. Sorry Lucy if that's how you felt. I just thought that saving a life is much more important than paying school fees at the moment. Please don't worry about it. I will sort it out, okay? Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ruth. Do you need anything? No, no sir. You have done enough for us already. I came to say thank you for your timely intervention. Oh that, don't worry about it. How was the surgery? It went very well sir. She is still at the hospital and will be discharged soon. Thank you so much sir. May God bless and reward you greatly. It's fine Ruth. It's fine. Oh God, is this how we are going to continue in this house? My husband has a good job, but I don't enjoy his money. I told him I needed a freezer for the past two months now. He has the money but prefers to give it to outsiders. He gave his car to an outsider. Now he spent the children's school fees on an ailing woman who is old enough to pass away. Things cannot continue to be like this. I need to do something about it. But what can I do? What can I do? I need to pass by the grocery store to pick up some things. Is this you, Anne? Wow, Lucy, right? Yes, it is me. Good to see you again, my friend. Me too. Good to see you. Wow. You look beautiful. How are you doing? I am fine, and you? I am fine too. How are your husband and children? They are there. What is the meaning of that? Nothing, my friend. Wow. Where are you working? I can smell money all around you. Me? Work? I am not working. You are not working. How are you able to fund this lifestyle of yours? Look at your hair, beautiful dress, shoe and bag. They are very expensive. I get the money from my boyfriend. You mean your boyfriend willingly gives you his money to buy things for yourself? Ah, you sound odd. What is that? Isn't men supposed to take care of their women? <laughs> Although he gives me willingly, sometimes I use charm on him to get more. You do that? How? I have a man who prays for me and also gives me something to make him give me more money. How does that work? I took his picture to the man. He prayed on it and gave me a powder to always add to his food whenever I need money. It is that easy. You are God sent and I am having a similar problem with my husband. He has money, but I don't get to enjoy it. Most times, I use my money to run the home when he has exhausted his by giving it to people outside. Wow, that doesn't look good. You've not even heard it all. Could you believe that he gave my children school fees out to help a woman? The children are home now while their mates are in school. What? That's too much. But I know your husband. Joe was not like that when we were in school. He has changed and please how can you help me? Can you take me to the man so I can do what you did for your boyfriend? That's a small thing. I will help you. Thank you so much and thank you. You are welcome, my friend. So, when are we going to the man? Give me a week. I have to call him and schedule an appointment with him. Okay, I can wait. A week is not too far away. Great. Give me your phone number so I can call you when I am ready. Okay.
I got you said he prays. This place looks like a herbalist's place. It's nothing. It's just decorations. He is a spiritual man. Okay. Good morning, wise one. Good morning, my child. This is the woman I spoke to you about on the phone. She is here to do what you did for my boyfriend. Okay. I understand that you want your husband to give you money whenever you need it. Is that correct? Yes, Baba. That is what I want. Okay. Are you here with his picture? Yes, sir. Great. I will give you two types of powders that you can use for him. The first one is white in color. Use it whenever you need money from him. The second one is brown. Use it every time. This means you don't have to ask for money all the time. He will willingly give you his money. Is that okay? Yes, it is okay, wise one. All right. Thank you, wise one. It's my pleasure. Please drop the picture and the money for the service near the image up there. Okay, sir. And thank you so much. But I have a question. You're welcome, my friend. What is it? You said he gave you one powder. Why did he give me two? Because you are a married woman you need more than an occasional money from your husband. He needs to give you money whether you ask for it or not. That's the purpose of the second powder. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much my friend. What are friends for? Okay, I will give you an update once I see improvements. Okay. Dear, I hope you enjoyed the food. Yes, it is delicious as usual, thanks. Dear, don't forget to pay the children's school fees. Yes, I can pay it right now, if you want. Yes, I want you to pay it right now. I have another request though. What is it? Just tell me and you have it. Wow. Thank you so much. Do you remember the freezer you promised to buy for me? Yes, I do. Do you want the money now? Yes, I sure do. Also, I would like to change my wardrobe. Yes, that's my queen. Do you want the money now? Yes, I do. Just send all the money together to my online account right now. Thank you, dear. I love you so much. It's my pleasure. I love you too. Hi and it is me Lucy. Thank you for the other day. The charms are working wonders. Do you know that I am now a big woman? I wear different kinds of dresses with shoes and bags to match. I have extra money in my accounts. Thank you so much Anne, I am really grateful. I just say let me give you an update. Yes, thanks. Good night. Dear, I am not feeling well. What happened? It's my stomach. It looks as if a hundred soldiers are fighting inside the place. Hundred soldiers? What do you mean by that? I have a severe pain. I can't go to work today. That's serious. Can you please take me to the hospital? Okay, okay. Let me call my manager and get permission from him. Please be fast. Okay, okay. Please sit right here while I talk to the nurse on duty to get an appointment for you. Okay, thanks. Good morning, nurse. Good morning. How may I help you? My husband will like to see a doctor. Okay. Please give me his details and I will book an appointment for him now. Okay, thanks. After examining you, it looks as if you have some poisonous substance in your stomach. Poisonous substance? How? Maybe through your food. Do you eat outside? Not much. I eat from home most time. It's only once in a while I eat at my workplace. Okay, not to worry. I will prescribe some drugs for you. Let's watch it for the next week. Okay, doctor. Thanks. Lucy, the doctor mentioned something weird. What is it? He said there are some poisonous substances in my stomach that are causing the ache. He asked whether I had been eating out a lot and I said no. Did you change any of your spices at home? No, no, of course not. Where can the poisonous substances come from then? Oh God, please help me. God, I hope it's not the powders I collected from the wise one that is disturbing my husband. 
maybe I should stop giving them to him. No, I can't stop now. I am enjoying the money and the attention he is giving me. It may be from his office. There's nothing to worry about. The thing is very serious. It's burning inside. Oh God, what is the meaning of all this? Give me a minute. Let me check on the doctor and see if the test results are out. Okay, thank you dear. Hi madam. Thank you doctor. Please I want to check if the test results of my husband are out. Yes, I was about to come to see you. They are out and the results are not good at all. Things worsened after you brought him the last time. As it is now, there is nothing much we can do to help him. Doctor, you said what? You cannot help my husband. Oh God, oh God. Please calm down madam. God will see him through. Thank you sir. Good afternoon wise one. Good afternoon my daughter. Sorry. I don't have your number so I couldn't call to fix an appointment. It is okay, my daughter. How can I help you? The charms you gave me the other time are working, but they are also causing some problems. Problems? How? My husband has been in pain for the past one month now. The doctor said it was food poisoning. Is there anything you added to the powders that could cause it? So sorry about that. The lady that brought you gave me some instructions before you came. Instruction. What instruction? She said you stole her husband from her when you were in school. She said she wanted revenge for it and asked me to gradually poison your husband. That was the second powder I gave you. What? Wise one. And you did it for her. It's all lies. My husband and the lady were friends. Ordinary friends before he met me. He did not even propose to her. She lied. Oh sorry, I did not know. A uh, wise one you have killed me. My husband is very sick because of that charm. Please I beg you, is there any way you can reverse it? There is no way to reverse it. Anne wanted him dead. Wow. Wise one, how can you be so wicked to the extent of killing a good man just for money? Watch your mouth, lady. I did not force you to come and do the charm. You came on your own. Are you not a Christian? Shouldn't you have prayed to your Jesus to help you? bunch of hypocrites proclaiming to be Christians, when at the slightest sight of trouble, they run to us for help. Oh, 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 God. Anne. Lucy, what is it? So you can do this to me. What did I do apart from helping you with your husband? You told the wise one to kill my husband slowly with the second powder. So you knew. Yes, I do. How wicked can you be? What did we ever do to you? Ah, uh, uh, uh. did you forget what you did to me back in school? You took Joe from me. I and Joe were friends before you showed up. He was already getting so close to me when you showed your ugly face, and he left me for you. Since then, I have been looking for a way to revenge. God bless the day I met you at the grocery store. I knew it was time for revenge. He broke my heart, and I vowed to take his life. So deal with it. Ah, uh, Anne, you are wicked and my God will pay you back for this wickedness. Joe told me that he never loved you. He only likes you as a friend, and that was why I gave him a chance. I knew he was telling the truth. But because you are a wicked human being, you took it too far. I want to tell you that Joe will not die. He will live, and we will come for you. Ah uh, ha ha. Do you think he will survive it? Please think again. The powder is very powerful, he can't survive it. Okay, we will see. So Sister Andrea, this is where we are. I have prayed and confessed my sins for God to have mercy on me and my husband. It's not working sister. Ah Lucy, you did all this because of money. Even if your husband went overboard in giving, should you have taken the step you took as a child of God? What happened to your faith in God? What happened to taking your burdens to the Lord in prayer as advised in the book of Psalm 55, 22, cast your burden on the Lord, 
and he shall sustain you, he shall never permit the righteous to be moved. That is what we are supposed to do as Christians, but because you don't have time for God in your daily life, you don't know what to do or where to go when problems come. Instead of talking to godly people around you, you took your problems to the gate of the enemy where they are waiting to scatter your home. They almost succeeded if not for the Holy Spirit that told me about my brother this morning. You are not a good Christian woman, instead of you to pray you went the way of the ungodly. Shame on you Lucy, shame on you. I am very sorry, please forgive me. Now, we will pray. We will follow the leading of the Holy Spirit and my brother will be free. But we will start with you. Are you ready to pray? I am so sorry Sister Andrea. I did not know it was an herbalist place she had taken me to. She mentioned a prayer house with a little bit of charm to complete the process. That was why I followed her. Please forgive me. Forgive you. It is God you have to ask for forgiveness. Because of your stupidity, you almost killed my brother. I have forgiven you so that the prayer I came to pray will work. It is God you have to face now and ask for his forgiveness. So kneel down and begin to cry to him to forgive your wrongdoings. Father Lord, I ask that you forgive me in your mercy O God. I was so stupid. Please Father forgive me. Cleanse me with your precious blood O God. Lord, I pray that you heal my husband. If you do, I will forever serve you. I will never go the ways of the ungodly, never Lord. In Jesus' name. Father in the name of Jesus, thank you for your mercies that are ever available to us when we go astray. I pray that in your mercies, forgive your daughter Lucy of her sins that are too numerous to mention. Father Lord because of your son Jesus, please forgive her in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Now, we need to join hands together and go and pray for your husband. Okay, Ma. Thank you so very much. Come him. You will be fine my darling. You will be fine. So, Lord in the name of Jesus, we pray for your son Joe. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17 No weapon that is formed against you will succeed, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you will condemn. Lord, we know that this is a weapon formed by the enemy, and according to your word, we decree and declare that it will never prosper in Jesus' name. The Bible also says in the book of Luke 10 19 Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, so, we decree and declare that nothing shall by any means hurt Joe from now henceforth in the name of Jesus. We take authority over every stomach ache caused by the evil powder, we flush them out of his system in the name of Jesus. We purify his system with the blood of Jesus and we decree his healing right now in the name of Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you Sister Andrea. We bless God. He will be fine. What happened to me? What happened? Wow. You are fine dear, praise be to the name of the Lord. Andrea, why are you here? It's a long story brother. So Lucy, you could go to this extent to get money from me. What have I ever done to you? Please forgive me, dear. I did not know it would hurt you like this. You did not know it would hurt me. So even though it didn't hurt me, you would still have continued using the charms on me. I thought I married a Christian woman. If not for the sake of God, I would have sent you out of my house. You don't deserve my love. Not anymore. I am sorry dear. Please forgive me. It will never happen again. Please Joe, forgive her. She has realized her mistake and I think she will be more careful henceforth. But Joe, do you know you also contributed to the problem on ground? How Andrea? What are you even saying? Yes, you did. As a man whom God has blessed with financial resources, your family should be foremost on your mind. You are to see to it that they are comfortable before stretching forth your hand to people outside. I heard that you used to give out lots of money to outsiders to the detriment of your family. It is not always like that Andrea. I derive joy in helping others. Yeah, I know you are a Father Christmas who dispenses gifts to people who need them. And don't misunderstand me, the Bible says we should give to the poor too. But everything should be done in moderation. Your wife cannot be suffering in silence because you gave out all the money at home to satisfy people outside. Let there be a balance. Is that okay? Yes, it is Andrea. Thank God for you. 
If not for you, I would have been a dead man because of this greedy woman. Stop calling her names. It is God that healed you and not me. And Joe, you and Lucy need to get close to God. I am sure you don't have a vibrant prayer life that is why the charm worked on you. If both of you had prayer altars, she wouldn't have gone that route. If you have a vibrant prayer altar, the Holy Spirit will shield you from the attack. He may even show you in your dream at night. But because you only profess to be Christians by going to church activities and not having relationships with Christ, your home is open to attacks. I want the two of you to rededicate your lives to God and build a robust relationship with Him. Have morning devotions where you read the Bible and pray every morning. Schedule time for family Bible studies in the evening. This could be once a week. Schedule time for prayers on weekends when you are free. All these will help to keep the enemy far from your home. Thank you so much, Andrea. I will do as you say. I think I am also to be partly blamed for what happened. I should have attended to your needs the way I do with outsiders. I am sorry. I am a changed man now. Please forgive me, dear. I am the one that should ask for your forgiveness. If I had not gone to the herbalist, these wouldn't have happened. Please forgive me, dear. I forgive you, Lucy. Please forgive me too. I forgive you too. I love you, dear. I love you too. But I think I need to teach that evil girl called Anne a lesson she will not forget in her entire life. How can someone be so wicked and filled with revenge? Do you have her phone number, Lucy? Yes, I do. No, no, Joe, let her go. The Lord showed you mercy. Show her mercy too. You cannot afford to hate anyone now. Is that okay? It's okay. But God will still punish her for what she did to me. That is God's work not yours. So, let it go. Okay. Good. I settled your dispute. None of you remember to ask for forgiveness from me. Who will go first? We did not offend you, Andrea. What? You did not offend me. I am supposed to be at work minding my own business. The Holy Spirit brought me here because of the two of you and you said I don't need to forgive you two for disrupting my day. Okay, okay, Andrea. Please forgive us for disrupting your day. We are grateful for your help. Now, you are talking. Please take care of your wife and children. They are the only people that will stand by you in your trying moments. And to you Lucy, take care of your husband and children too. I am sure by the time you draw closer to God, all that covetousness and greed will leave you in Jesus' name. Amen, thank you so much Sister Andrea. We really appreciate you. Okay, everyone, I need to take my leave. Bye. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? I am very fine now sir. Thank you so much for your support. Oh don't mention, we have good news for you. Good news? What good news? The company has decided to transfer you to go and head the office in Glasgow, Scotland. The good news is that you can go with your family. Accommodation and transportation are settled. You have a car and a house waiting for you over there. You mean, I will be a manager in our office in Glasgow? Yes, Mr. Joe, you have two weeks to make preparations. Wow, thank you, thank you, sir. What God cannot do does not exist. What is it, dear? El Roy, the God that sees me has lifted me up. He has rewarded all my years of laboring and giving. What happened? We had a meeting at work today and the CEO told me that I have been transferred. Transferred? To where? Oh God, not now. Relax, it's not that kind of transfer. Which kind of transfer? The kind of transfer you've been waiting for. Hmm. Yes, I have been transferred to go and head the company's branch in Glasgow, Scotland. Wow. Wow. Wow this is unbelievable. Yes, it is unbelievable. I have not gotten to the rank of a manager in the office, yet the Lord deem it fit to put me there. I am so grateful Lord for this opportunity. Wow. We are so grateful, Lord. You know what? What? That is an opportunity to help even more people. You have started again. I am only joking, calm down. But I will still continue to help people. But this time around, I won't neglect my immediate family. Yes, that is good to hear. I love you, Joe. I love and adore you, Lucy. Wow. People of God. 
we must be careful of the choices we make in our daily lives. This is because there are consequences for bad choices. It is good to help people but not to your own or your family's disadvantages. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a great week ahead.